As pop legend Madonna once said, Italians do it better. At least they used to anyway. After Brazil and Germany, Italy are the most successful national team in football in history. Four World Cups and two European Championships. But after their glorious victory at Euro 2020, Italy failed to qualify for the second successive World Cup. It was a national tragedy. We chart the rise and fall of the Azzurri Empire. And Italy did indeed conquer the world four years later in Spain. Things started badly and Italy was slaughtered by their media after drawing their first three group games. They were given no hope of getting through their second round group featuring champions Argentina and favourites Brazil. But a press silence galvanised the squad who beat Argentina 2-1 with Claudio Gentile kicking lumps out of a young Diego Maradona. Then a certain Paolo Rossi, who'd been out of the game for two years on match-fixing charges, made the World Cup his own. He scored a stunning hat-trick to defeat a seemingly unbeatable Brazil 3-2 in one of the greatest World Cup matches in history. He scored two more in the semis against Poland and opened the scoring in the final as Italy beat West Germany 3-1 in Madrid. The iconic image of Marco Tardelli celebrating the Azzurri's second goal will live long in the memory, as will the image of Italy's 86-year-old president Sandro Pettini wiggling his hands to the Spanish king Juan Carlos I as if to say that Germans can't catch them now. On the plane back to Italy, Patini, pipe smoking manager Enzo Bietza, 40 year old goalkeeper Dino Zoff and Franco Calcio sat down together with the World Cup on the table and played Scorba, an Italian card game. Italy were world champions again after 44 years. <laughs>